Okay, so we're told here that n is equal to 1.25 repeating. And they're saying that the 0.25 is repeating. We want to express this as a fraction. Well, the quick way of doing this is to realize that it equals 1 plus 0.25 repeating. Um, the idea there is that you can quickly convert a repeating decimal to a fraction. Here's how you do it. So 1 plus 0.25 repeating. Any repeating fraction, all you have to do is look at how many digits there are in the repeating pattern. In this case, there are the 2 and the 5, and those are repeating over and over again. So what you're going to have now is 1 plus, well, the pattern itself, 25, and then over 99. We use 99 because each 9 is for each digit in the repeating pattern. And we'll talk a little bit about why this works in a moment. Just bear with me here. Now if we add these two, 1, you can think of that as 99 over 99. And you have 99 plus 25, which is 124 over 99. So here the answer is G. And we can look at similar problems. If I have, let's say, point, oops, different color, point two, three, four repeating, what would that be equal to? Well, if it were 1.234 repeating, you'd do 1 plus, and then the fraction would be 234 over 999, and then you can keep simplifying. This time, again, the, the pattern here to deal with this, you write out the repeating digits on the numerator, in the numerator, and then the, the number on the bottom will be some number of nines. You just write one nine for each digit in the repeating pattern. For me, the, the whole logic behind the system goes back to an observation with uh, the repeating fraction, or repeating decimal one-third, which equals 0.3 repeating. What's the connection here? Well, we can rewrite this and think of one over three as what? Well, three over nine is one-third which is also equal to 0.3. So this fits nicely here because 0.3 repeating, the only decimal digit that's repeating is the number 3, which we then put in the numerator, and then a 9 goes in the denominator. It's one 9 for each 3. But if you don't like that explanation, you can think of this algebraically. All right. The idea is how can you go from 0.3 to a fraction? How do you do that? Well, let's say x is equal to 0.3 repeating. And then 10x is going to be equal to what? Well, if you can imagine, we move a decimal over once, but there's still an infinite number of threes. So it's 3.3 3 repeating. So the nice thing here is you can say, well, oh, well, what is 10x minus x? Well, that's going to equal what? That'll equal 9x. However, if we think of that in terms of numbers, what is 3.3 3 repeating? minus 0.3 repeating. Well, it's hard to think about at first, but then just realize you're just taking away right, the 0 0.3 repeating. That's what you're subtracting out. So that means that that equals what? Well, take out the 0 0.3 repeating and you're just left with 3. And that equals 9x, right? Those are the same thing. So now we have 9x equals 3. If we solve for x, I would divide both sides by 9 and look what happens, right? These cancel out and x equals 3 over 9 or one-third, but I'm, I'm more interested in this. So this means you could write 0.3 repeating as a fraction of where 3 is over 9, which is what we're saying here, and you see that appearance of 9s. Now by extension, you could just use this logic for any similar repeating decimal problem, but notice that pattern. This is where we kind of, or at least I first established that in the denominator you have some number of 9s, and in the numerator you have the, the decimals that are in the repeating digit pattern. Alright, hope that helped.